Hey guys, Lone Woodsman here with you, and this is Gear Gap. Now, you'll notice that I'm inside today. I wanted to get out earlier and film, but we got hit with a pretty heavy snowstorm. They were closing down all the roads and, you know, letting everybody out of school and stuff, so I opted just to stay home and film it here instead. So, uh, Bushy asked me in his last video for Gear Gab uh, what I carry in the woods with me now uh, because I learned it the hard way. So, uh, I thought about it and I was going to do one on my rain poncho, but I found one a little bit better. This right here, uh, my, obviously my first aid kit. Um, years back I, when I was building my <clears throat> excuse me my first bush camp I had my son along with me and uh, we were using knives and and things uh, he was using a machete to cut some uh, Phragmite for for walls and and things like that uh, Phragmite is reed grass in case you didn't know but uh, he cut his finger not real bad but but bad enough and I didn't have a first aid kit with me so I had to uh, fas fashion a bandage out of just uh, some bandana and uh, just, uh, I believe it was jute twine, it could have been paracord, I can't remember. But uh, I was thinking, man, I, I wish I had, you know, some, a first aid kit with some band-aids and, you know, antiseptic cream, you know, stuff like that. So, now I carry this because, well, basically I learned it the hard way. I mean, everybody should carry a first aid kit, you shouldn't have to learn it the hard way, but I did, so now I carry this. So yeah, just everybody, if you don't carry a first aid kit, it, they don't take up much space. Uh, this, this is it's it's small, you know. It it weighs nothing. You know, it's it's it, it could be, it could be a lifesaver, but uh, I mean, you're messing around with the fire, you get burnt. You know, have some burn cream in there. You know, just something as simple as a burn on your finger can really put a damper on your weekend. You know, those things can really hurt. So yeah, just not to be long-winded, but just make sure you guys carry a first aid kit. Now, for my last piece of gear to offer up to Bushy for him to gab about, I want to know what his favorite cooking implement or like a, it could be a pot or, or whatever. Mine is my hand forged squirrel cooker that I got I believe last year at a festival in my town called uh, Mountain Craft Days. It's you know it's a two-parter. Let me just real quick put this in. You know you'd stick it in the ground and it would stand you know like this over your fire. This end here being for a meat hook and then you just flip it around and on this end you have uh, like a pot hook to hang your your kettle or what have you over the fire so that's my favorite piece of cooking gear now Bushy I want to see what yours is and like I said it doesn't have to be like a squirrel cooker it could be you know a, a pot a pan or if you don't have a, a, a favorite implement, how about uh, your favorite method of cooking while you're out in the bush? The possibilities are endless, my friend. Now, being that this is my my last appearance on, on Gear Gab, I just wanted to give a heartfelt thanks to Bushy for having me on the show. It's been a lot of fun. I really, really did have a good time. And... Uh, I encourage all of my subscribers to go on over, check his channel out. He's a real nice guy. Uh, if you like what you see, throw him a sub. Tell him Lone Woodsman sent you. I thank you all for watching. Please take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next one.